why you know why don't you let me just go out and say something actually funny or whatever he goes because i want people to be happy to see me right oh my god <laughs> yeah, so he set it, was, it up on purpose absolutely he actually uh, said to me at one point in time never ever as a performer never ever bring somebody on stage who's better than you and as i was a guest <laughs> for him on stage every night of the week I was like oh right so you're telling me I'm shit <laughs> the only reason I've got the job is because I'm shit because I make you look better um, but I you know in my own sort of performing life uh, uh, over time I changed that rule completely I only ever bring somebody on stage who's gonna absolutely shred the room you know and over time you know with the live performances you know We've had guests like uh, Elvis Costello, oh, wow. or Sting. Wow. Last year, Michael Bublé got up with us. Uh, he did an Elvis song at the end of a, oh. a show, just at the Sydney Opera House. Actually, killed the room. Uh, Rita Ora got up last year. RZA from the Wu Tang Clan. Whoa. He got up. Uh, he's a mate of mine, Bobby Diggs. He, we got up in a like a 350, 400 um, standing room only little pub in a uh, Balmain, an area of Sydney, and then suddenly, pow, the wrist is on the stage. It was wow. Cool. Yeah. So uh, I learned a lot from him, but I didn't learn the things he was trying to teach me. <laughs> well, that's a great philosophy to have the best people go in front of you. Um, we have a similar problem with that in comedy. Like